Good morning, everyone. Hi, buddy. Doesn't say hi, guy. Same little buddy that's been hanging around. Good morning, everyone. Obviously, I'm on Cape Cod. Hi, Max. Hi, I everybody. You. Um, so basically, I drove here yesterday, and I feel like first and foremost, I just need to address because I know a lot of people could be really angry if they think I'm like traveling right now. But if you don't know my situation, maybe you wouldn't know that I was quarantined here for the first two and a half months in quarantine during the pandemic. Went back and was with my mom, and now I'm back here. So like, trust me, we're taking it very seriously. My circle of people is like Max, his sister, his mom, my mom. Like that's the only people I've seen so don't be upset with me. I'm not traveling like I just came back here Okay, and you'll see why in upcoming mm. vlogs um, But then we're going back to be with my mom. So we're really just with our family right now I don't want anyone to be upset with me like yesterday. I posted Instagram story being like tap to pack and everyone's like Where are you going? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm back here, but don't worry. We're still very safe now So that being said back on Cape Cod. We're going to get coffee. We started off our morning with a little chase bar class and it was really good. Yeah. I don't know if I've ever done one that early at like 8 a.m. <laughs> Maybe I've done it before. I was didn't it used to be 8.30 but now she does 8.15. Uh, I, I swear it was 8 or 8.30. I think I did one of those like ones. But that was really good to like get up and get like going. Coffee. I need coffee too. I think I got addicted. Mm -hmm. I think I'm like back on the grind because now it's the afternoon and I'll have like a pounding headache if I didn't have coffee. So coffee time. Straight up, straight down. Straight up. Oh, what I don't know what we're gonna do. <laughs> I'm so excited to show you guys all these new pieces. Max! Sorry. <laughs> okay, are you being quiet now? Can you hear it? Yeah. Oh. Where are you going? Okay, bye. Ah, I'm out of my morning. I'm so excited to show you guys all these pieces that I got from Nasty Gal. I feel like a lot I got from their new in section. I was just like scrolling through. Do any of you guys do that? You just look at all the like new items added every day or every week or whatever. So before I forget to mention, I will have all of these items linked down below in the description box. You can shop these looks and let's get on into it. I look like a crazy hot mess this morning. I feel like I've been curling my hair a lot, and then when I sleep on it, it just gets like kind of crazy. Does anyone else agree? Okay, there we go. Now it's a little tame behind my ears. First item, ooh, this I'm so excited about because it's literally the softest material, you guys. It's this black bodysuit, but it's so soft and like stretchy and comfy, it ties over the shoulder like that. I have a white one that's like pretty similar to this, but I like this better because it's more stretchy and soft and like the white one I have is kind of like really structured and like stiff. So this I'm so excited for for the summer. This I got also in black. Yes, here it is. This is the white one. It's this little crop tank that has like a little open slit, a little opening, a little cutout right there. And I also got it in black. Again, I feel like these are just such cute basics for the summer. Just black with like a little opening in the front what are the why i can't i think of what it's called the opening like a little yeah just like a little slit in the front okay this i also got in white you guys can tell i really like wearing black and white this is a black one it's just like a cropped little sweater and i actually didn't realize i think when i ordered that these are like pearls buttons how cute so just like cropped a little sweater that buttons up i feel like these are so in right now with like shorts Again, same one, but in white. And if you guys are wondering the sizing of these, I get a six in pretty much everything, like a US six. Yes, UK 10, EU are 38. Is that like Europe, European? <laughs> I sure it's something like that. So yeah, um, I think that's what I usually am in like Princess Polly too, if that helps with sizing. And I would say normally, just in like the US, I would say I'm like a small, or I guess like sometimes mediums for like bottom because I'm 5'9", so I'm kind of tall. Um, anyway, but I thought that would help. This dress is so cute, guys. This feels like the most amazing quality. It's like thick and like ribbed, but like stretchy. I love the little detail when I saw this online on the model. Like I love the detail um, under your boobs. I don't know, I feel like it just gives you support. And it's like this long, maxi dress or is this midi no definitely maxi and 
just black so nice and simple so cute the summer and then this you guys when i opened it up i was like I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be a t-shirt dress it is but this looks like it's gonna have to be a little tunic maybe or just like a long t-shirt for me i could wear them with like biker shorts like these type of biker shorts um because this looks like it might end up being a little short of me but i guess you will see on the try on so yeah this i just thought was so cute this i definitely remember was in the new in section and they also had it in like a pretty light blue tie-dye oh i want to go get the light blue one now too because the gray is just so cute like this is so cute for the summer to throw over anything tie-dye is just so in right now and then you guys these nasty gal gray sweatpants I feel like I've been seeing everyone rave about and they're like they're the most amazing sweatpants ever like they're so comfy and so affordable so I picked them up and I'm so excited for them they feel like so nice not too thick and heavy but not too thin and like the perfect cut like slouchy and cozy so I'm so excited for these and then these might be a different style or maybe they're the same but they're actually maybe they are the same they look pretty similar um these are just black sweatpants again really slouchy like high waisted and i feel like sweatpants now you can really like dress up dress down like you could wear it with like a big hoodie and be just cozy or you could like dress it up with like little booties and like a leather jacket you know what i mean okay then this i thought was so cute this is like a little zodiac black t-shirt it's cropped and I don't know, I just thought it was really fun. I don't know why I really like Zodiac t-shirts. I feel like whenever I have any sort of graphic tee, I just feel like I always get ones that are like Zodiac. I like think they're cool, I don't know. And then this, I also thought was so cute. This is a Fleetwood Mac black graphic tee. Oh, hello, are we back? <laughs> I got a little unfocused. This is Fleetwood Mac black graphic tee. I don't know, I just really like the graphic of it. I'm probably like a fake fan because like, I feel like people get so mad when you wear like a Nirvana tee and they're like, do you even know who they are? Or like, do you listen to their music? But like, I just thought it was really cute. So that's that. Okay, then this, you guys, this is so funny. When I opened up, I was like, oh, this literally looks like lingerie, but like on the model, it just looked like a black, like lacy bodysuit that you would wear with like black high waisted jeans and booties like going out. I mean, can we like go out right now? No, but I don't know for the future. I'm planning ahead for when quarantine's over. You know what I mean? Like I just think the design of it's really cute. I would probably wear a bandeau or something underneath to look a little see-through. Um, but I just thought that the like design of the lace was really pretty, if that makes sense. These I thought were so cute, you guys. Oh my gosh like in the summer just like over a bathing suit at the beach because they're kind of sheer and like see-through but they're just like flowy pants i feel like i've been looking for the perfect like flowy pants like this that are like high-waisted tie at the top and i think these are it i think these just might be them so i'm so excited for those oh then this i feel like this was just like a random little find i feel like these type of tops are so in right now like little ribbed this almost reminds me of like a sweater vest. Like I feel like sweater vests are like coming back in. They're like trendy and like vintage. And this kind of looks like that. It's just like a ribbed um, tan, like high neck tank top, but like with white, like baggy jeans or like any white jeans. I just feel like that would be so cute. Then I got these white high-waisted jean shorts. I really like the button detail up the front. See like these, this is what I was saying, you guys like so cute together so so excited for these i don't think i have any white jean shorts so yeah that i was gonna say last but not least but i actually have one pair of shoes for you guys this is just like a short sleeve ribbed little bodycon dress just very neutral basic so good for the summer literally you could throw any sweater cardigan jean jacket over top and then last but not least these shoes are gonna go with literally everything i just showed you they're just basic little nude little heels you see these are so cute and i like that they're not too high to the point where they would be uncomfortable like these are more like chill casual like you could just wear out to lunch out to dinner in the summer if that's open where you are right now um to the grocery store if you feel like dressing up i swear i like get all ready to go to the grocery store now because it's like the fun outing of the day you know what i mean but like how cute these are just so cute and so basic and feel like such great quality so i'm so impressed with these i love these i would really recommend if you need like basic little nude sandal for the summer so 
that is everything I got from Nasty Gal, you guys. Again, it will be linked down below. I'm so excited from all my new clothes. And so when you're like, oh my god, where is that bodysuit or like white jean shorts that you're wearing on Instagram? If you watch this video, you would know. Nasty Gal. So, yeah. I'm so excited. New clothes always put me in a good mood. Like I told you guys. Now I think I'm going to lay in the sun a little on like back porch. I found these old bathing suit bottoms, you guys, that I feel like are so 4th of July because they're like blue and white tie-dye-ish um this is just like a not matching top these are so old i literally don't know where they're from but yeah i think i'm just gonna lay in the sun a little very chill today's july 2nd um so maybe i can get a little bit of a base tan for tomorrow july 3rd and saturday july 4th and tomorrow is what would have been my dad's birthday so yeah good morning good morning i've um had a little fail at vlogging and i started this vlog that morning like the morning after i got here um yeah and i just showed you the morning and then that must have been july 2nd thank you cookie that looks You're delicious um but then yeah i don't even know what we did for the rest of the day clearly i I don't know. Maybe I was already getting sad, but I'm just gonna be honest. On July 3rd, it would have been my dad's 56th birthday, and you guys know they passed away last year. So I don't know how I thought I was gonna be able to like vlog for like the third and the fourth because I was just like really sad, and it just kept like creeping up at the most random times, as grieving does. And yeah, we had a toast for him on the third, and. I was like the ugly crying where like you can't breathe so Max had to do it. Oh, I don't know you guys, but I just wanted to be honest and talk about it because I know a lot of you have lost people close to you in your life and it can be a hard time and especially on top of that, the fourth, like holidays can be a harder time because I feel like you miss the presents even more and like the fourth, obviously we were always with him and like the third i just thought about how all his birthdays would go it would always be us traveling together as like a family to long island as a family or whatever for the fourth like we'd always be traveling on the third and we would do like a bunch of presents in the car or whatever and i always like felt bad and felt like he was like gypped because we were like traveling and we weren't home to like have our champagne celebration like go to dinner but it was still like so much fun nonetheless so yeah the third was pretty tough yesterday was kind of sad too and today's the fifth so sorry that this vlog is like kind of a mishmash but i just wanted to say that quickly um to be real with you guys i'm trying to put together an instagram post right now and it's not going well because i'm just sad trying to write it so that's on pause while we're eating breakfast mm -hmm. thank you it looks delicious has my vlog ever even seen jacques i don't know if i've told them about wow. jacques <laughs> Chase, Max's sister, got a little beta fish, and that's his tank right there. So we have fun hanging out with Jacques. Like errands to run today. Stuff like that. It's gonna be a chill day. It's been so cloudy and like crappy here on the Cape, which is so weird. Mm -hmm. But it gets like sunny later. Um, so yeah. Good morning. Welcome mm -hmm. to this day. Because the other days didn't happen. <laughs> I'm crying again, you guys. <laughs> I just want to be honest, if any of you listened to my last podcast episode, you would know that this drives my mom nuts. <laughs> she says that it's gross and that if I rub my nose a bunch like this, you get like a line on your nose, which I always have. Oh, yeah, Because I always rub my itchy nose. Yeah. I think Max is getting a sty in his no, eye. No, I'm not. But anyway, um, I just wanted to say I don't want to be like annoying like crying and like being, oh jeez oh <laughs> being sad all the time but i just wanted to be honest with them you know and i don't want it to be like an excuse but if you guys have lost someone then you know what i mean so i don't know that's all i have to say i was just crying again because i was writing this instagram caption but uh, what was i gonna say oh max is fix whenever I'm sad is I think we need to get you a donut. Hmm. <laughs> Works every time. We might a donut and coffee mm -hmm. and cold bro. Can you sing that song? I'm on the way. <laughs> you 
you guys know the TikTok little song that people make TikToks to? It's like, tell everybody I'm on my way. Oh my god, my voice just like cracked. Mm. I was saying that I think that sound is from Curious George, but I don't really know. But what I was thinking of is, it's it's going to be, we have to make it. It's going to be me, and I'm going to be like, tell everybody I'm on my way. And that they have to save me cold brew and a donut. Because yesterday, they were out of donuts and they were out of cold brew, and I was so sad. Guys, I feel so dumb right now that I didn't just put this in a braid before because my hair looked so scary just now. And our side braids like still allowed. Is that still like a thing? I don't know. They kind of make me feel like Elsa. Does she have a side braid? But um, my hair got like really tangly and I just wasn't gonna try to brush it out. So putting in a braid seemed like the easiest thing. I don't think I've done this since like maybe eighth grade, but yeah. I'm also really hot. I think it's like 70 something today. So I don't know if I can continue wearing that sweatshirt. Maybe little shirt dress we're gonna do that okay and then we have our surprise situation to talk about guys this is like so cute and almost long enough like if you were literally maybe like five eight five seven and under this will be fine as a dress on you like it's almost long enough but just short enough that like I still feel like I need my biker shorts but nonetheless it's so cute I wrote up rolled up the sleeves a little bit more and I'm just obsessed. I think it's like the cutest little tie dye. Yeah, see, like my butt would probably show. Um, but attention, anyone shorter than me, this would be the cutest t shirt dress on you, so go get it. I'm in the car. I have my mask. <coughs> don't worry. I normally don't wear it like a chin guard. I wear it. How this I'm is a chin to. guard. <laughs> this is a mask. Have you guys seen that meme of Governor Cuomo? It's like. Kind of funny. Yeah, he, he was like, this is a chin guard, this is a mask. No one's asking you to wear a chin guard. Wear your mask. <laughs> um, okay, the surprise. All we really have to say is there's a surprise coming, but it's not one of those annoying ones that I'm like, oh my god, I'm working on something, it's a surprise. But like, or is it? Coming oh. June 2021, you know oh. what I mean? Like oh. some people like announce it like, like annoying stuff way ahead of time and then is you're it? like, hey, the suspense is killing is me. Is what, what? Is it like that? I don't know. No, it's Who not. Knows? Because I'm telling you that the next video after this video or the video after that promise is gonna be about the surprise. So comment down below what you think it's gonna be. You guys have no idea. You guys okay. have no idea. <laughs> That's all. Now we're going to get coffee and a donut to make me happier. But you know what? I'm already happier because I'm wearing this cute new little like dress. Yeah. Like it's putting me in good I, mood. I could wear that. I could wear this. You want to wear it? Yeah. Maybe a little tight. You think? Yeah. This would not go over your arm. <laughs> I'll order you one. I think it's that. okay. <laughs> Everyone cross your fingers right now that it's not too late for donuts and cold brew because Nirvana ran out, was it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. Uh, not early. Or the day before. And they had no donuts, no cold brew because it's like 11. So cross your fingers. Half of our wish came true, everyone. No donuts! Be careful, be careful. They sold out the donuts. Do you think I'm going to spill it? Oh, because uh, you're going to spill yours. I took the lid off. He has to add splendid to it. I feel like normally you do sweet and long. I, I don't think they have sweet and long. They're cold brew. This tastes so different than the normal iced coffee to me. I'm like fully on the cold brew grind now. And just cold brew with almond milk, nothing else. I like cold brew. This will be gone in one second. It's just Something a about little it. pricey. Oh. <laughs> Not that tea. you would know because I always treat coffee. <laughs> no, it's just, that's sometimes, a lot. sometimes I do. No, you get it. You buy some. You treat sometimes. Um, it just tastes so good. Like something about it just tastes different than like normal iced coffee. I don't know. Do you guys like cold brew or normal iced coffee? First errand I can tell you about wasn't a secret one. We had to go to Whole Foods quick. Got some groceries, and I got. A little kombucha on the way. I have so many liquids right now. So overwhelmed. The watermelon one is so good. Coffee, so good. Whoo! And you guys really know us well. You already know what's in this whole foods bag. Maybe some cinnamon rolls. His paws, adorable. <laughs> His tail, adorable. That's what I we saw. Right here, um, we saw. Outside of Nirvana this morning, a black lab puppy. Oh, 
and it was so cute. Everyone was freaking out. We saw a guy, and he was like down the street a little more, and we were going back to our car, and he was like talking to his family or something, and he was like, guys, I don't know if you saw, but there's a black lab puppy down there. I was like, mood, buddy. Oh, it was so yeah. cute and little. And you know that TikTok? His tail, adorable. His face, adorable. Um, oh yeah, but we got cinnamon rolls and our favorite sriracha. Wow, pure one imports. So good. Popping off oh, this morning. Oh, they're closing, going out of business. Oh. Everything must go. Oh, what's that? I wonder if they're going out of business everywhere or just like here, you know? Hmm. Because we literally just had the biggest fail of all time. We were all prepped and ready for a beach day. I don't know if you can tell, but my hair is all, well, it was kind of crazy to begin with, but then I feel like the wind was blowing at the beach, but it was so cold and so cloudy, and we were there for maybe like half an hour, an hour, just sitting there like I was using towels as like a blanket because it was so cold. But this was a good little beach cover-up and for my bathing suit, but didn't really matter since we couldn't like swim or lay in the sun or anything. So yeah, that was a big fail. Do you guys see how sunny and nice out it is <laughs> at Max's house now? Like his backyard is so sunny. We're like, we would have been better off if we just stayed here and like laid in the backyard here. I mean, it, maybe it just got sunny, but it was like so cloudy where we were. <sighs> I love when that happens. I feel so tired and like groggy today since Sunday's my off day. Um, there's probably like more off days when I don't work out, but like specifically Sunday. And I swear, I just feel like I have more energy after I work out because it just like gets you going for the day. So since I didn't work out today, Sundays I always feel like half asleep. Why does this happen every time I work out? I think it's only when my hair is really clean and it's like light and fluffy and it just gets all fluffy in my ponytail and doesn't really stay in place. Like it's too like smooth and slippery and it just like slips out. I don't know, does, it, does that happen to any of you guys? Oh, I'm so tired. Wait, when is last time I vlogged? Let me look. Okay, well I just checked and it looks like last night was a fail because I was just showing you guys that we went to the beach and it was really cold and today it looks cloudy too and it's like 70 like it's not even that warm out so that's kind of sad um and then I told you that it was getting sunny here and then we literally you know when you make dinner that's like the laziest easiest dinner you just like find what's in the fridge and nothing goes together that's what me and Max and Jason did last night and so yeah it was very uneventful and here we are today is Monday so I guess I'll vlog a little today, but I don't want this to be too long. Um, yeah, sorry, this is just like a chill little mishmash vlog that's a little bit all over the place. But that's just what life has been the past couple days. About to record our podcast for this week. Hello, hello. Wanna know what feels so weird, Max, is that like we're recording this before we do the video. So this is like happening, but like I feel like I'm spilling the beans, but it's like going live after, you know? Just got our coffee. Tell them what happened. Wait, did you already tell them your intro? What do you mean? The intro? Did you do the intro? 
No, this is for just my vlog that I've been doing. Oh. This isn't that the surprise video oh. yet. Because I have to, I'm gonna record a little intro for it today. Gotcha. So um, oh was. yeah, great news. Went into Starbucks, ordered, of course, uh, a venti for myself, a grande for Gretchen. Tell them your order just in case they're new. Venti iced coffee, almond milk, one sweet loaf, grande. You got cold brew today. You mixed it up. I'm into the cold brew yeah. grind. And Putting you a sweet dent milk. in my wallet. I'm over. <laughs> I'm over the sugar. I'm over it. Um, no sugar for me. And they made mine a grande by mistake, so I kindly asked them. You know. I, you think I, 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 think I can get this in a venti? I ordered an venti. And I go, oh my god, yeah, of course. You know what? You can keep this one too. So now I got two goggles. <laughs> you always do. We've talked about this before. I don't know, but like on the vlog or what. But you were just so good at like getting what you want, but in like the sweetest way. Well, I think it's a Corona too. They probably like can give that away. Oh. I was going to say, why didn't they just make a little just... more coffee and fill it up to the venti? Oh, yeah. Could have done that too. I you know. Yeah, I guess with oh, Corona, whatever. they were like, keep it, we'll make another one. Oh, we talked about this before, but you're so good at like getting you wa at getting what you want, but like in the nicest way. It's like you're so nice to people that they like do what you want them to do mm -hmm. for you. Like, I will never forget, was it the Wendy's drive through Or McDonald's drive through And you're like, sorry yeah. man, we're closed. And we're like, oh, and Max is like, I don't have any extra fly fries laying around. And he's like, uh, yeah, sure. And he just like hands us fries, like yeah. for free. <laughs> like only you. Mm -hmm. Like I would have been like, dang it, and drove away. But you're like, hey, you have any extra fries like laying around mm -hmm. that are like going to waste? You always like do stuff like that. Yeah. And it always works every time. I feel like I need to learn to be like that. I'm like too by the rules. I'm like, oh, it's closed. Pack it up. We're going home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, behind the scenes of the of the podcast, people. I am like dripping sweat. I'm probably like sweating through my sweatshirt right now. But I just did not want the air on. Oh my god, I probably like will look sweaty. I didn't want the air on so that you could hear it on the mic. Oh, and I didn't even say in the podcast, Max, that we were recording in the car. Oh, but I just yeah. thought it would be easier this way. Like Chase has her classes, and I didn't want to mm -hmm. like get in anyone's way. We're literally just parked at the tar Target parking lot and recorded the podcast. And I know just. In a car, it's a very like controlled situation. Like you know, the only noises that are happening, you're making mm -hmm. them. Like I don't know if someone drove by or whatever, or the air conditioning. So yeah, it's just kind of easier this way. Sometimes, even at my house, I was like, "This is so good. It'll be like more quiet here." No, Teddy barks every time yeah. I record a podcast. He knows and he has to bark the whole time, and I'm like, "Oh my god, oh my god." <laughs> Now we're gonna get lunch because I'm starving because I didn't eat breakfast yet. So we're getting lunch. We're skipping breakfast. Intermittent lunch. fasting. No, I had a toast. Oh yeah. With well, I'm intermittent banana. fasting. So. I literally could burritos. never do that crap. Like I need to eat before I work out. I need to eat breakfast. I need to eat every couple hours. Oh. Like I can't do that. I'm calling in burritos. Thank you for calling Burrito Bistro High End. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Me too. That was so anticlimactic because I'm gonna fall. I was um gonna show them our burritos and then we ate them They're so gone. quick. We literally like shuffled them. Mm -hmm. So them. Sorry, I couldn't show you. Mm -hmm. We ate them too quick. Max got this really. What's the place called? B two. Uh, burrito Bistro. Oh, burrito. B it used to be called B two. Mm -hmm. Um. Um. Max gets this really big one with everything in it. And I tried the Hawaiian. Hawaiian one. No cooked pineapple. I don't like cooked pineapple. I only like it if it's like raw and like, or not raw, I don't know if raw. Cold. Like cold and juicy, fresh. just like cut up fresh, yeah. But I think I'm gonna end off the vlog here. Hmm. I feel like it's probably long now. Okay. But yeah. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. See you in my next video. Bye. Bye.